Hi, this tutorial takes us through creating an installable application from our Python script. So if we want to distribute and give to other people our exciting, cool Python program that we created, this is how we do it. Okay, so to begin with, we need to create an icon file for our program. This is optional, you can actually do it without an icon file, but it just gives a default icon when you select it from a menu and that doesn't look really good. So I'm going to download and install this image icon program that I've got right here. If I click on this, I've got a Windows, let's see, download, there we go. I'm going to download and install this file here to my desktop. And now I've got the installation program for image icon. Go ahead and hit next. Sure, whatever. Create my destination directory. Start. And then we're done. Thankfully, it does not take very long. This is a pretty short and simple program. All right, once you've got that installed, then we actually want to run the program. And the program is pretty simple. I'm going to minimize my window here. And it says, drag and drop your image files right here. Well, I so happen to have a sample Python program from one of my students called Astro Smash. If I open up this program, I can see I've got all sorts of pictures that are just playing part of the game. So I'm going to take some of these pictures and create an icon out of one of them, like the spaceship. So I'll go over here. I'll drop it on here. And... Lo and behold, that's all I needed to do. I created that. It automatically, in my directory, created a spaceship.ico, and I'm done. It's cool when programs work that easy. Okay, so I've created the icon program. It is in my main folder with everything else. Now the next thing that I need to do is go ahead and flip back open my web browser. I'm going to go back here. And... I need to download and install a program called CS Freeze. This takes the script in Python and creates a nice distributable file or distributable directory for us to install onto other computers without the full Python installation. Okay, so I'm ready to download and install CX Freeze to go ahead and select the Windows installer here for Python 3.1, which is the version that I'm working with. And it automatically gets ready to start this. So here we go. I'll click Save File. I happen to actually already have it downloaded, but go ahead and replace it. There we go. Now I've got CX Freeze downloaded. I need to double click on it to install it. The last, I want to install it for all users. See which Python I want to install it from. I've got 3.1 here. It's the only Python that makes sense to install it. Go ahead and let it finish. And now I'm done and set with that. Okay, that's not too bad. I'll go ahead and back up here to my installation. Next up, I need to download and copy this font to my application directory. Free Sans Bold TTF. And when I create my application with CS Freeze, it gets confused about the font and where to get that. So I'm going to go ahead and right click on this, save link as, and I want to save it inside of Astro Smash. Save. There you go. Now, the other next thing that I need to do is I actually need to go to my program. Okay, so I found. I got my font downloaded. The next thing I need to do is open up my Python file, edit with Notepad or whatever your favorite editor is, and do a find on font. And where I've created fonts, I want to change this none to free sans bold dot ttf and do that everywhere I've got the none so that it will find this font that I've downloaded and I won't get the error that I will if I fail to set that font. Alright, so I've got that. I'm going to close this. I might run my program real quick to make sure I typed it correctly. That's great. still runs. doesn't crash. Alright, I'm set that way. Now, the next thing I need to do is actually run CS Freeze. So, in order to do that, 
you need to open up a commands prompt. If you type window R, you'll get a little run dialog box that pops up and looks like this. There's a CMD there. I'm going to go ahead and click OK. That's what I want. Type CMD, click OK, and you should get a command prompt that looks something like this. Now, the next thing you need to do is switch this directory. Right now we're in the users folder of Paul Craven to wherever your folder happens to be that has your application. If you need to switch drives, you can by just typing in the drive letter and a colon. Like if I want to switch to the H drive, I could switch back to the C drive. And then I can switch directories by typing CD space and the directory. In this case, I want to type I'm going to do a DIR. I can see what directories are available. I'm going to type di cd space desktop. I'm going to hit tab key. After you type in a few letters enough, you don't have to type in the entire directory. You can hit tab key and it'll finish it for you. So I'm going to switch to the desktop. And this it basically contains every file that I've got on my desktop right now. If I do cd space astro smash, there we go. I'm now in the Astro Smash directory. The next thing that I need to do is run this CX Freeze application. So I can do that with the command that basically I've got right here. I can copy that, or I can just go ahead and change my screen here so I can see both at the same time. That a little bit smaller. Okay, so I'm going to do Python 31, which happens to be where my Python is installed. If your computer has Python installed in a different directory, you'll have to change that. I want the scripts subfolder, CX freeze, and then in this case, it's, it's Astro Smash is my main. Not that. There you go. Astro Smash.py. Whatever your main Python script is. Hit that, hit enter. It'll process a little bit here. I'm not actually completely done. I'm done with the CX freeze, but the next thing I need to do is if you take a look inside of Astro Smash, you can see we've got a brand new directory called DIST. This does not have all the icons and images and sound files, but does have everything that we need to run Python conveniently stuck in a single directory. So that's great. I need to copy all those important files into the other directory. So I'm going to cd space dist to this distribution directory. I'm going to copy all the files from the parent directory. So we're going to go up one directory and copy all files. There we go. Now all the files that I need are in this folder right here. So if I look at the Astro Smash, I've got my original files and inside DIST, these are the files I need to install and use in an installer to create an installable file somewhere else. And before I go through that step though, I'll make sure that it runs. Go ahead and there we go. Astro Smash EXC. I now have an executable. Cool. And Excellent. I'm all ready to do the next step, which is working on the installer. Okay, so the next step is to download the freeware version of Install Creator from this link that I've got right here. Here's Installware. There's a freeware version. Cool. Click on that. And I want to download and open IC Install EXE. I'm going to save it to my desktop. I'll run IC install. It's a pretty simple, straightforward install here. Unregistered version. There you go. And we're done. Time to launch install creator. This is pretty simple. We've got the wizard right here. I'm going to minimize these other windows and get them out of the way. directory that contains my files. I click browse. In this case my directory happens to be on the desktop. 
and it is Astro Smash and the dis distribution directory that we've gone and created. Next, language is English. I'm going to call this Astro Smash. Next, window format, default fine here. Default template looks fine. Optional info, nah, no license agreement. That looks fine. Next. Name of the file, you want to create an icon in there. And the icon, let's see, I'm going to call this Astro. Oh, let's see here. Browse. Here's the Astro Smash EXE. There we go. Enter the name of the icon corresponding to the above file. There's my spaceship. Hit next. Nope, this stuff's fine. Uninstall program, great. Great, hit finish. And where do you want the installer? Don't put it in your distribution. Let's go ahead and, go ahead and save it on the desktop. Call it Astro Smash Install. It'll process here a little bit. All right. So now I'll look around. And here it is. I got my icon for Astro Smash Install. If I double click on this, I should have an Astro Smash Installer. Here's the Astro Smash install program. Next. Looks great. Next. Start. And we got the little ad because we did the freeware install. If we wanted to pay for an installer, we could get rid of that. And now, actually, if I go to my start menu, there is an Astro Smash program. And it is up and running. Although I know my icon didn't actually work quite the way I wanted it to, so at least get you up and get a basic installer. And there you go.